much, Lauren. 840, and right now our coverage continues on COVID-19 in the state, booster shots, and some calls for a state mask mandate. Dr. Vora, Medical Director of Emergency Services at Charlotte Hungerford Hospital, is joining us to talk about the latest. Dr. Vora, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now, doctor, I have to ask you right off the top here. We here at Fox 61 have been focusing on back to school. Some kids here in our state are going back to school in the classroom starting next week. And a lot of viewers, our parents are telling us that they're very concerned. What do our parents need to keep in mind as their kids head back into the classroom for a new year, especially for parents who have children who are too young to be vaccinated? What do they have to keep in mind? Well, first, I can relate being a father of four that are under the age of six. Um, it is a scary time right now, being that we're seeing a resurgence of COVID cases. However, uh, schools are taking precautions to make sure that everything's sanitized, and it's important to make sure that our children wear masks um, and uh, they continue to follow the protocols that the uh, health professionals have, have set forward. It's also important to keep children at home that have any flu-like symptoms, fever, runny nose, cough, congestion, anything that could be COVID-related and get tested before allowing their children to go to school. Talking about masks and the mask mandate, and obviously a lot of people are going to have to wear them in schools, but the big discussion now is on younger children, and specifically that tends to be the age group that has a little bit more of a harder time keeping them on, and you know, parents are trying to work through that. I know I've witnessed many parents just trying to get them to keep it on their, on their face, and you being a parent as well. What words of wisdom might you have for your patients or other parents with kids? How do you kind of help the kids get through realizing that this is something they need for their safety? I mean, we have to educate our kids, regardless of what age they're in. Uh, my youngest is two, just turned three, and we practice uh, wearing masks at home as well. So you make it a social norm, even in areas that the children are comfortable in, so that they get used to it. And then you just educate them, and this is for safety. This is so you don't get sick. This is to prevent viruses. Um, but it's important to practice. I wouldn't make school their first time wearing masks. I'd want to make sure that all children had practice and uh, felt comfortable doing so, regardless of how young they may be, because as we know, we're only immunized uh, from 12 and above. And we do have hopes in the future of having vaccines available for younger children. But right now, we just need to do the best we can to educate our children and to practice safe practice at home. All right, let's talk about booster shots now. We know President Biden just mandated that people will be getting a booster shot eight months after their second vaccination of the COVID and Moderna vaccine. What are your thoughts on that as far as the eight months after the second dose? And then what are your thoughts? Do you think people who have gotten the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, do you think they will eventually be required or suggested to get the booster shot? Well, you know, for a while at Charlotte Hungerford, we had zero COVID patients in the hospital, and we thought we were... You know, we thought the worst was over with. I mean, I think as a country, we thought the worst was over with. And then we saw the Delta variant come in. And the Delta variant now becoming about 99% of the acute cases we see has shown us that um, our vaccines, while they're great um, and they are effective, um, over time, they do diminish their efficacy. Um, and now we're seeing cases for those in the hospital for patients that are vaccinated and unvaccinated. So it's time for us to get a booster to ensure that we have the most protection possible um, against the Delta variant and other potential variants that may come in the future. So I think it's coming at the right time as we see cases starting to increase, um, especially for those unvaccinated, but also for those that are vaccinated. So it's important to get the uh, booster if you've gotten the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine. And as you mentioned, the recommendations are eight months post second vaccine. Um, in terms of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, being that it's been a little bit less studied in terms of its long-term um, uh, sustainability, I think we'll see more evidence coming out in the next few weeks. Um, but I do expect that there will be a booster available for Johnson & Johnson because even when they started their single dose vaccine, they did mention that they'd expect a booster shot to be required at some point, mm -hmm. um, and I expect that that point will be released very soon. Mm -hmm. Dr. Vora, thanks so much. We do appreciate your time and your insight. We'll take back with you very soon. Thank you. All right, just about 15 minutes to the top of the hour.